welcome students my name is miss pakiza and i am your math teacher today my topic of explanation is addition so students all of you are familiar with the sign of addition here you can see the sign of addition very clearly now have a look at the definition of addition the action or process of adding something to something else is called addition now student let's try to understand it with the help of an example so here you can see a little girl in this picture and you can see that she is holding some sticks in her hand she is holding three sticks in her right hand and three sticks in her in her left hand if we add all of them then we get to know that there are total six sticks so it clearly indicates that we have to apply the operation of addition now students all of you have to open page number 10 question number 5 part a our question is write vertically and add write vertically and add part a so students as i told you that you have to start writing your uh sum with, uh, with your place value so first of all you have to write the place value at the top you have to start writing your place value from the right hand side with u u stands for unit t stands for tens h stands for 100 th stands for 1000 and th stands for 10000 next is we have to write our first value what is our first value student the first value is 24639 so students we have to write first value from the right hand side 9 3 6 4 2 next we have to write the second value that is 1 0 2 5 1 and we have to again we have to write this number from the right hand side and starting from the unit 1 5 2 0 1 and after that we have to put the plus sign now students we are going to add this sum together add these values together we will start adding the from the unit u where it is written u and under u the values are given 9 plus 1 Nine plus one, ten. Zero one carry, and one will go in tens column. So we have written above three, and we have left the space because we always needed a space for writing the carry. As we have written above the three one, three plus one, four, and four plus five, nine. Next to the next column now, H hundred column, six plus two, eight. Now, students, move to the next column. That is thousand. Four plus zero, four. Okay, students. Here the concept is that whenever we add any number with zero, the answer always comes in zeros. So, I did four in zero. So my answer has come four. I will not write zero over here. Understood? So next column is ten thousand. Here we have to add two plus one. Two plus one, three. So students, we have solved the part A of question number five. So students, uh, understood this question very well, and you can solve the rest of the part by yourself. Okay, students. After solving this sum, we have to understand the terms which are used for addition sum. The first value which is given twenty four thousand six hundred and thirty nine that is called addendum. The second value that is given ten thousand two hundred and fifty one that is also called addendum. It means the numbers we add together they both are called addendum. And the sum and after uh, after that. the addendum or is uh, the addendum is a singular and whenever we take it as a plural the addenda is called a plural form of addendum okay as you can see in the green color that is called that is written already addenda okay now we have to move to the sum 
the answer is called sum it means that there is there are also parts of addition sum the first two values which are going to be add together they are called addenda and the last part which is which is added uh, which is added and which is total that is called sum now students we are going to move to our next question that is page number 10 question number 6 and part a so students as you can see that question number 6 write the number which is it means that we have to add these number which is more than it means we have to see that write the number which is more than 125000 now in this question students a keyword more is used so we can easily understand that addition operation will be applied here so first of all we have to write the units and units are u uh, we have to write the place values at the top that is starting from unit tens Hundred thousand, ten thousand, and hundred thousand, and our first value is one hundred and twenty-five thousand. Okay, and our second value is two hundred, and we will write two hundred from the. We will start writing our two hundred from the right hand side, hand side, and that is we will write zero under unit, and uh, again zero under tens, and again two under hundred. Okay, we will not start for two hundred from the. left hand side we will start writing from the right hand side okay now we are going to add them together from the unit okay from the unit side under the unit there are written two zeros 0 plus 0 0 next is next move to the 10 column 0 plus 0 0 next move to 100 column 0 plus 2 2 next move to the 1000 column there is 5 and there is no value under 5 so we will write 5 as it is next we will move to the 10000 column there is again 2 and there is no value under 2 so we will write 2 as it is next we will move to the 100000 there is again 1 and there is no value under it so we will write 1 as it is so students i hope that you have understood the question and uh understood the question very well and you have enjoyed this lesson and now you have to solve the rest of the part of question number 6 in your home thank you students allah hafiz